Hey, what's up everybody? Uh, it's Zach and today we have a bit of a, a busy day today. I'm still on the job search. We're still trying to figure this out. I'm anxiously waiting to hear back on a couple interviews that I had and I'm gonna do a whole video about like what that job application process has been like for me out here because that it, in and of itself has been its own thing. It's mail time. Holy. Oh my God, this is uh, <laughs> this is bubble wrap to survive the apocalypse. Pocket knife, because that's great. To... My short film, Everything's Fine, A Panic Attack in D Major, got into a couple film festivals out here, which is really exciting, and it's always great to be able to show your work somewhere, as I'm sure any of you can imagine. Oh, man. Um, the problem is, some of these festivals don't actually use um, Blu-rays or, or even or DVDs anymore. They're using what's called a digital cinema package, or a DCP. And that's basically the, the new industry standard for digital projection in a movie theater. It's like a, a hard drive that you, that's designed to be plugged right in to the projector. I have one right here. Whoa. That is a, that's, that's a DCP right there. Let's put some gaff tape on this. There we go. It's labeled. Everything's fine, DCP. I always have a billion Pelican cases for, for gear, for this and that, and the way I keep everything organized, just strip a white gaff tape, write the label on it, makes it a lot easier. Today is gonna be a busy day. We're gonna be productive. I took kinda took the day off yesterday, cause, well, the Oscars were this weekend, so it was a little bit nuts, so Monday, yesterday was kinda my Sunday. So now I'm gonna make Tuesday, Monday. So we gotta do a couple things. Gotta go for a run, super important, gotta do that. Gotta fold some laundry. Been pushing that off for forever, so I gotta take care of that. I gotta get the DCP to the festival distribution house. I gotta write some stuff. I gotta get my show Bible ready for the college television awards. And we also gotta go grocery shopping. All right, let's, uh, I should probably shower too. Sweet. Hit the light, turn that on, open this up. Oh, I just, I hate folding clothes. One trip, one trip. We got it. Does someone want to do this for me? Anyone want to just come over and help me out with this right now? You know, Abakini Boulevard is a great place to rock. Minus all the people, all the cars, all the random scooters and stuff. All the dogs walking around. Actually, it's a terrible place to run. I don't know why I did this. All right, we uh, Got that solved today. It was kind of, that was kind of fun. Like driving all the way over here just to drop it off. Then I have to go all the way back. That's probably the hardest thing about being out here without a car is that I'm relying on Uber to get just about anywhere. But while I'm waiting for my ride back, uh, I want to talk to you guys about three ways that I stay busy even though I currently don't have a job. Step one, I run a lot. That's the hardest part when you're at home and you have nothing to do all day. It's very easy to not actually do anything all day. So every morning I go running. I try to go twice a day if we're not, you know, being totally lazy or anything. Or like walk far or just get out and be physical because getting your, your blood flowing, um, even if it's just a short burst out of the day, is such an important part to just feeling not only physically better but like mentally feeling better as well. So step two, pay attention to the little things. Wake up at an early time, get out of bed, make your bed, do laundry, make coffee in the morning, fold your clothes. I mean, do all the little things that when you have a job, it's very easy to push off. Like cook breakfast for yourself in the morning. Accomplish those little things throughout the day. Because at the end of the day, if you don't get the job, if no one responds to your emails, if your film gets rejected from that film festival, you can come home at the end of the day and say that you made your bed, that you accomplished something today. That's such an important thing for your mental sanity, especially when you don't have a job out here. It's all about the small victories, you know? 
And step three is just having a creative outlet. Sometimes if I'm just having like a, an off day and I just need to clear my brain, I'll just pick up my guitar and, and play some stuff. Sometimes it'll be funny. Sometimes it'll just be for me and no one else. Just like clearing, physically clearing my brain through playing and singing. Um, like no one cares. Whether it's music or writing or doing videos like this, especially when you don't have a job, it's so important to just keep your brain active, keep your mind working, keep those creative juices flowing. Give yourself something to do. Make a job for yourself. And that way you can feel creatively satisfied while you're uh, professionally stunted. You have to figure out what your side hustle or side hustles are. Leave a comment below if you have an activity that you like to do when you have not much to do. Uh, and I'd love to keep this conversation going. Thank you so much for subscribing and liking. Until next time, friends, keep on doing it live. And I will talk to you guys real soon.